Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Shakespeare's YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing because uh, we upload videos to this channel uh, frequently. And uh, time to give you the links to these videos might not be there. So if you subscribe to these channels, uh, I'm sure that you never miss any new video that we upload on this channel uh don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to give a comment like and uh, turn the notification bell on right um this is the third video in this series and uh i am sure that uh you came across the first and the second if you haven't uh, please uh, make sure you watch uh, part one and part two of this series um, before you watch this one i will just uh, give you a recap of what we have done in part one and part two um here is what we did uh, i gave you an introduction on excel spreadsheet uh the microsoft office package itself and the software that we the softwares that are in uh, inside this uh, package i also did what uh, i defined some various uh, terms that are used in excel excel workbook um, spreadsheet worksheet and uh, what excel is used for and uh, from there uh, we talked about um, how one can open microsoft excel application itself and uh, how to create a new workbook we worked on um, saving excel files excel sheet renaming workbook renaming and uh, uh, opening an existing workbook so this is uh, what we've done and uh, from there we went on to the microsoft office excel interface where we looked at um, the tabs the ribbon the worksheet area the sheet bar the sheet tabs the status bar and um help we also looked at uh, how uh, one can uh, view the groups uh, or the groupings that are available inside the ribbon and from there we looked at um, how one can name a cell uh, given that example c3 and so forth we did it practically and uh, we did navigation horizontally navigation vertically and how to perform um, auto filling we did all these in our previous uh, videos right so today we are going to look at uh, table formatting how do we add a column between two existing columns you see so this is how uh, this is what we go, what we are going to do today from there we look at uh, how do we add a row between two existing existing rows and then we look at how do we enlarge a column or row for data to fit in a cell so these are the three things that we are going to focus on uh, today so let's get into business what we do is we open excel so how do we open excel we have talked about this in our previous um video tutorial so here we say excel we just type excel after pressing microsoft windows button then we open excel like that um all right uh, excel is opening let's just be patient a bit as excel is opening
all right let's open our previous file all right all right, all right. and uh today we just want to create a simple table all right so here i'm just dragging this big plus sign or this big plus sign case symbol and then press delete so what we want to do is you want to you click there i want to say um name here then i press tab then i say uh, let me just say first name and then i say uh, assignment one which is let's say out of 30 then we say assignment two which is about uh, out of um 25 and then we say test which is out of 50 and then we say um exam uh, and the exam is out of 100 and then exam is completed to exam is completed to 70 is weight is weighted to 70 and then we say far now here right so uh, 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 this is the table if you want to have so you see first name is actually not fitting inside this um this cell so what we do we want to enlarge this cell so that first name can actually fit in here and then we can so what we do you put the case on on top of the alphabetical character or a series of on top of a series of uh, alphabetical characters like that and then you click after clicking you put the case on that line that demarcates uh, the two cells or the two columns then you drag that plus sign with arrows then we have enlarged this cell so this is how we how we enlarge a column now uh, let's say i want to enlarge a row i do the same i just put my case in between these two cells or those and then drag down you can see that this cell is now bigger than this other uh, this row is no bigger than these other uh, rows so that's how we enlarge or reduce the size of a row or column <laughs> so how do we add a row between two existing rows or how do we add so we will start with how do we add a column between two existing columns so what we do what we do is for example here we want to add um, uh, last name we just right click after the first thing is to highlight the whole column by putting the case on, on top of the alphabetical character or characters then you click then right click and then say insert if you click insert see what happens it insert a column to our left so we don't want that uh, column to we don't want the column to our left but we want it to our right so we click we highlight column b and click there and say insert so we have our uh, column there we say last name like that so we now have that then assignment one assignment two assignment uh, test then exam out of 100 yes but we need we need um cost rate out of 30 here we insert so we say cause where out of 30 and if i do this you will see that it's not uh fitting so we enlarge this column let's enlarge this one so that we actually see that uh, this is another column and this is another column something like that so we have this table like that 
so how about adding a, 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 a row let me say here i have uh, martin then i have uh, shetsa then here i have kuntai and then here i have miranda and between shakes and kundai I, if i want to add i can just say insert you see this is between martin and shakes so if i say if i click here and say insert look at what happens the row is going to be inserted on top of the one uh, that you have highlighted so if i want it between shakes and kundai i'll just uh, right click there and click insert then i will add another student let's say time and then here we say ivana I don't know the spelling. Let me just put that on. And uh, here I need say you know something like that, right? So the last name here is Shiva, and here is Demo, and here is uh, Shetta, and here is um, Shiva as well. And here is a shell as well. And here is Jimona. But now we have achieved uh, the two goals. Yes. This this one we now know how to do this. And we also know how to perform this. Thank you very much, guys. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe. Share with your friends, give a comment. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.